Suspect just entered the house. Stop! Stop! Don't hurt me! Shut your mouth, or I'll kill you, lady. Go! He's got a hostage! Please, please. 224. Headquarters, we're outside the house. Suspect is armed and has barricaded himself inside with a female hostage. This list of bad choices keeps getting longer. Captain, copy your traffic. 10 4. I'll activate SWAT. We going in? Post up on the 3 4 side. Yeah, three fourths. We chase the guy, and SWAT has all the fun. Shots fired. What do you bozo start up this time? Suspect from the robbery. Chased him on foot. Now he's holed up with a hostage. Any word from inside? Dispatch got a number from the address, but still no answer. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me, sir. You can't be here. This is my house. What's going on? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Right, follow me. But All please, right. tell I'll, me. I'll explain. Please. Calm down. Better back off! <laughs> I'll kill her! I'm not playing around anymore! <laughs> I'm gonna take a seat for me right here. What's going on? Is my wife in there? Okay, sir, we're gonna need you to remain calm, but we do have a situation. What situation? An armed suspect entered your house a while what? ago. What? Debbie, taken huh? care of it. As far as we know, she's unharmed. You've got to do something. We are doing something, sir. I need you to sit down, breathe for me, okay? Trust us. We got it taken care of, okay? Please, please don't hurt me. Shut up. Feels so tough, ain't you, huh? 10 4 in custody. Oh, man. Doesn't even matter. Good job, guys. Debbie. Thank God you're okay. Huh? Oh. Are you all right? You all right? I'm okay. Call us if you need anything. Thank you. Hang on, I'll be right back. Wait. Wait, please. If there's ever anything I can do for any of y'all, please give me a call. Yeah, we'll do. I'll uh, I'll pass this around. My door's always open for you guys, anytime. Thanks. Hey, you guys already have a chaplain by chance? No, I, I don't think so. And tomorrow morning, I'm meeting with your boss and volunteering my services. Thank you again, deputy. Yeah, that's what we do. Crazy shift so far. I think the rest of the shift will be as quiet. Oh, I still say we should have gone in. Nah, forget it. Besides, we got bigger problems. Oh, what's that? Where did we leave our cars? Oh. No, I'm serious. I don't know.
Yeah, it's your stop. You get the runner, Rookie. Stop. How are you and Jesus, man? Y'all good? My door's always open for you guys. Anytime. Yeah, you definitely need to be at church. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll pass this around. I'll pass this around. <clears throat> handsome man in my bathroom. <laughs> you look like a shaving commercial. Yeah. Oof. Rough night? Mm, same old. How about you? How are the students? Oh, those munchkins are crazy. I, I swear I learn a new vulgarity from them every single day. From fifth grade? Yeah, they're like little sailors. <laughs> What's this? That was a guy I met on a call. A pastor? Yeah. And he gave you his card? You were holding it. No, I just didn't know if he gave it to you or if you asked him for it. I didn't ask for it. He gave it to me. Just thought maybe. I'm not ready yet. OK? OK. It just would be nice to find somewhere to go to church together as a family. Oh, man, I forgot to tell you, I got that guitar. Taylor? Yeah. Oh, she let you get it, huh? Well, I don't know about let, but yeah, I got it. I got you. Easier to ask forgiveness than permission. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely need to be at church Sunday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, bring it over, I'll teach you how to play something. Okay. okay. But what are we talking here? Like real rock or you know, some of that soft Christian stuff? Easy listening. Really? Yeah. By the time I'm through with you, I'll have you ready for the praise team of the mosh pit. You're picked. Okay. okay. Oh. 
That's a bold statement. What a night. Yeah, I'm over it. Yeah, me too. You seeing this? You seeing this? Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How was school? Great, but today Bragan said a bad word. Oh, he did, huh? <laughs> yeah, he said... Uh-uh, don't say it. <sighs> Fourth grade. I can't wait for fifth. <sighs> I know, right? Hey, I was thinking we could go through the football. What do you think? Yeah. And for dinner, pizza? Pizza. 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 Pizza it is. All right. I like that. <laughs> what do we got here? Come on, man, open the door. I need a boost. I got something. I got one of those. This already. one's expensive, yo. Come on, man. It's not some Chinese knockoff. Come on. Come on, man. Only a gram, yo? The Blu-ray! Blu-ray, man. What you think we can get for this, Daryl? Come on, let me see it. You want a beer? I don't know, Larry. Don't we already have, like, two of these? Well, now we got three. So don't get mouthy with me, little brother. Oh, here we go. What'd you get this time? The blue rod. Hmm. You got something against cash? Or do you plan on eating this? That guy said that was expensive. It's a blue rod. You idiot. I can get one of these for 30 bucks at Walmart. Well, then go sell it and get 30 bucks. Do I look like a Walmart to you, moron? Well, Ain't nobody gonna give me 30 bucks for it. I'll take it. No, you're stupider than your brother. Woman, them are mine. Not till you go get divorce papers signed by a judge. Till then, everything's just as much mine as it is yours. Won't you go back in the house and leave us alone? We're busy right now. Oh, I can see that. Why I married someone as worthless as you is beyond me. Don't you do it. Do what? Huh? Mm. Yeah, worthless. You better get out of here before I up and throw you out of here. Daryl can help me lift. Not really with my bad arm, Larry. It's all right, man. Watch, watch. Here it is. Boom! Oh! <laughs> I'll get you that. Oh. Brian, you watching another one of those ridiculous cat videos? No offense, Jessica. You know how much you love your cat. None taken, sir. All right, before we start our briefing, as you noticed, we have some new meat. Just finished his rotation on days, so it's time to show him how to do some real police work. Woohoo! Stand up, kid. Tell us something about yourself. My name's Jacob Furman. And, and I'm a future alcoholic. <laughs> all right, all right, enough from the peanut gallery. Go ahead, Katie. Married, kids, pet hamster, what? I have a girlfriend. Is she hot? Yeah. Long She's hot. Answer, rookie. <laughs> oh, where's your address? Because we might need to send some extra patrols while you're on shift. Yeah, no, I thought of you, detail. chef. Come Please. on, Cap. I'm just trying to get to know him. Oh, you want to get to know him? Good. You know, because I'm going to sign you as his FTO. <laughs> Next four weeks, you can get real close. I've, I've literally had the last four. Yeah, you finished? Yes, sir. All right, we got calls holding. Uh, the prosecutor's office, they request more detail in our reports, more quoted testimony. So take good notes, OK? 
All right, some things never change. All right, you be safe out there, guys. <clears throat> and girls. Aren't you lucky? I know. I'm always nice to you. How about be nice to your new partner? Hey, Rook. My name's Colton. Most people call me Colt. And I'm Shep. Looks like you're on my detail for the next four weeks. Let's go see what you're made of. Hmm? We'll start with coffee and get us a couple down here. Hasta que llegó, se tardó bien alto. Necesito que usted haga algo. Mi esposo y yo estábamos discutiendo y mis vecinos siempre se la... What, you heard the captain, Rook? Be sure to take good notes. Yeah, we want to see some quoted testimony in your report. Okay, ma'am. Necesito I... que usted haga algo. Ahorita andas aquí todo el tiempo y yo no puedo hacer nada. Ustedes tienen que hacer algo. How long should we leave him? Yeah, a few more seconds. Yeah. All right, Rook, come on. We'll handle the report. Thank you, ma'am. What just happened up there? No idea. Mm -hmm. You guys hungry? I'm eating with Lauren and Gabe. Such a family man. Well, you're just jealous because I have someone who loves me. Your wife loves everybody. What do you eat? I like, well, um, today you like hamburgers. Let's go. All right, let's see yeah. you. Tell Lauren hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. How are you? Good. How's the shift going? Oh, the usual. Yeah. Here you go, sir. Oh, thank you. Is it catching my guys yet? <laughs> no, not yet. That's boring. Oh, hey, sometimes boring is good. Yes. Yeah. I went ahead and ordered so we'd have a little time. Yeah, I do. You're welcome. Hey, you didn't tell me that that pastor is also your new chaplain. I I didn't know that. Yeah. Where'd you hear that? I don't go. Thanks very much. The uh, department spouse support group sent out oh, yeah. an email. Yeah. All right. Gabe, you want to bless the food? Yes, ma'am. Okay. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. God bless America. Amen. God bless America. <laughs> That's right. Good nice job, job. Good job, bud. Nice. <laughs> oh, please keep my daddy safe. Thank you, buddy. OK. Ready? Don't, I'm so you tired of this game. Time. Colton, no, I'm terrible. Come. <laughs> don't throw it. I don't Fine, No, I it. can't catch it. You know I'm terrible. All right, ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, that's the closest we've got. Direction at 1170 Pine Street. 224 en route. 104, I got you en route. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Love you, buddy. Safe. Okay, Love you. I will. Okay. Take this for the See you All later. Bye. Hey, eat your food, okay, buddy? Every time. I know. I know. If you don't mind, I'd like to pick up that family's check right over there. Good. All right. Need any refills here? Um, no, we're good. I think just probably a couple boxes and the check. The boxes I can do, but there ain't no check. Um, it's been taken care of. I'm hungry, man. Yeah, we do. We got anything to eat? Oh. Blu-ray player. <laughs> How'd you like me to use your head as a tea stand, Daryl? Whatever. Dang, man. Home run. mine too, remember? That's my mama's. Why ain't there no food in there? Well, I don't know. Maybe because my worthless husband spent all his disability on beer for him and his stupid brother. Come on, Denise, I ain't in the mood for your mouth today. Why don't you just shut your lip? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. What you gonna do, Larry? I said shut it. Go ahead, Larry, hit me. 
I'll call the cops and they'll send you back to jail. That what you want. Woman, you shut your mouth right now before I give you a reason to shut your mouth. Nine, one, one. Here we go. Yeah, my husband's trying to hit me. Yeah, I'm looking at the drunk fool right now. That's right, run away, you scalded dog! You coward! What? No, I am not leaving my house. Little butterflower. She done called the law again. What'd you do, hit her? No. But I shoulda! Yeah, I ain't gonna do nothing. Shoulda said I love you. In a minute. Four and 260, copy a possible domestic, 150 Rosewood Street. Can I help you, gentlemen? Larry, put that down. Why are we here? Because that hot mess of a wife I got called you. Again? Arrest him. Take him to jail. Woman, shut your trap before I make you shut it. You take him to jail right now. I know the law. She don't know squat. Hey, Larry, you see my seat, Pat? Yeah, I'll find it myself. Hey, 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 hey. Just hold on now. Both hey, 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 hey. Now, both of you, just shut up. That gum. I got two ears, but only one brain. All right, Denise, you're with me. Larry, talk to Sarge. Gee, thanks. So what's going on? I just went hey, to get drunk. a sandwich. So are you? She starts yelling at me. I'm so married to him. Lady. I have to be She's drunk. My okay, well. I hate that man. He's always putting me down. So get a divorce. Can't afford one. Plus, there ain't no way he's getting half of my mama's house. Right. Okay, so nothing physical happened today. Well, I ain't been physical with that lump of nothing in 15 years. No, I mean, did he hit you? No, but he's yelling at me in my face like this. Do you like this? I don't like right. this. Okay, okay. It's about time. This guy will not shut up. Mm. Anybody going to jail? No, unfortunately. Well, we're done here. Yeah. 10-8. What's up, boss? Larry, get inside, OK? Stop talking to her. You're not going to take him to jail? <laughs> Larry, don't give me a reason. Get in there, all right? Babysitting a couple three-year-olds. Come on. When I'm not, I'm going to get your badge numbers. I know the law. I'm going to go to the station, and I'm going to file complaints on both of you. I'll make sure they have a crayon waiting on you, darling. He's got dope in there. I do not. That's because you flush it down because you know the cops was coming. All right, Denise, get back in your house. Larry will stay in his, OK? No, no, you need a search warrant. No, that's not happening. Or just go and, and, and get Stay it. in your home. You got back. Come back here and take him to jail. He's a bad man. He's got so much. No, you already knocked, so what do you do? Step to the side. Do you look for anything? A window. You don't stand in front of a window. Never stand in front of a window. Copy a shooting, 121 South 8. Juvenile has been shot. Did she say a juvenile's been shot? Yeah, buckle up. Eyes on the victim. Where you at, Shep? <laughs> Get your gun out. Get your eyes peel. You can still be in the area. Ready? Yep. Let's move. <laughs> See you around there? Now we're cleared. <laughs> Team, we're on EMTs. I got a young boy gunshot wound. We'll Ma'am, I need you to step away, right? Ma'am, I need you to back away. We're here. We need a minute. We got to stabilize. Jacob, Jacob, get her back. Get her back. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Oh,
Hey, looks like the same M.O. as the last guy. Oh, we got a solid lead, though. He's not getting away. Good. What a great day, right? You know, the kid didn't even live here. It's just the wrong place, wrong time. Are you right? You believe in God, Chad? You get philosophical with me? Why does he let this happen? You are getting philosophical with me. I mean it. Why does a kid die and drug dealer get off scot-free? Well, the only answer to that is there isn't a God. I don't get it. I don't get it. Same thing. Cops get killed. People that kill them get off scot-free. David again. Cole. Look, man. What happened that night, it happened. You know, there's not like a rhyme or a reason to it. It just, it happened. And we know the risk every time we put on this uniform, okay? You know it. I know it. Come on, David knew it. Yeah, that doesn't make it better. You don't know. You don't, okay? You weren't there. You didn't see it happen. You didn't hold him when he died. You gotta let it drop, okay? That's it, you gotta let it drop or you're not gonna be able to do this job. Let it drop, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's real easy for you to say. Real easy. Yeah, Cole, you know what? It is easy for me to stop it. You know what? Don't think I haven't noticed every time. Every time stuff starts hitting the fan, you start wigging out. That is not true. Yeah, it is. You wanna know something else? You better get your head back in the game because if not, it's gonna be me. Okay, it's gonna be me or someone else you're lying there holding dead in the street one night. Hey, 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 hey. Everything good here? We're good, you all right? Good. Log this, narcotics from in the house. Sure thing, Sarge. Get out of my way. Out of your way, out of your way, out of your way. Colt. I'm over it. Me too. So how are you and Jesus, man? Y'all good? <laughs> Here we go. I'm serious. How's your faith, man? How's it walking? It's good. It's good. That's good. Not as good as yours, probably. Just can't imagine doing this job without some backup, man. Backup, man. Well, I'm your backup. That's all you need. I've seen you shoot. <laughs> It's more of an assurance than backup, just knowing that when I go into that call, no matter what happens, good or bad, God's in control. Anything that happens, it's all good, man. Yeah, it's true. We're a different breed, brother. We're a different breed. You got all these people walking around, head in the clouds, man, just waiting. No idea what's waiting around the corner for them knowing those wolves are there. They're like little sheep, and the wolves are just waiting to pounce on them. We're the shepherds. Me and you, we're the shepherds here to protect you the sheep. You are getting deep on me, David. Hey, I'm more than a pretty face, yeah, OK? I don't know. Speaking of pretty faces, you bringing Lauren to church Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. We're good. Maybe we can go out to eat afterwards. Yeah, you owe me. All right. All right. That's fair. I'll buy. I'll buy. <laughs>
<laughs> I got you. You know butter and jelly, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, not too far. Yes, ma'am. Ever think about having another one? Mm, only every day. I just don't want him to be an only child. Do you think you might want to have another one? I don't know. I mean, sometimes I think it's cruel to bring kids into this world. Other times I think they're the only ray of hope left in it. You want to talk about it? Having another kid? No. No, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Colton. What is it? Is it the job? Yes, it's the job. It's always the job. <laughs> talk to me. I'm here for you. Why you wouldn't understand? Well, I definitely don't understand now. I mean, every time I ask, it's always just same old. Come on, Colton, you need to talk to somebody. You need help. And if not to me, maybe somebody who has more experience in this area. I'm not talking to a shrink. <laughs> OK, I'm not talking about a shrink, necessarily. Maybe a, a pastor or, or that new chaplain. Anybody, honey, but you can't. You can't go on like this, you know that. Like when you're out on patrol and you run into something that concerns you, you call for backup, right? So just think of it as calling for backup. And if you won't do it for yourself, will you at least consider doing it for me? Or for him? I'll call the pastor tomorrow. It's about time, sunshine. I was starting to think you got lost. I was on the phone. What's going on? We going fishing or something? CID snagged the driver of the drive-by that killed the kid. Uh-huh. Yeah. And of course, he's spilling the beans on the shooter, hoping to catch a break. Nice guy. Yeah, he's a real altar boy. His name's Omar Caesar. The driver's giving us the details on a buy that's taking place in that parking lot down there by the river. Looks like we're going to be the new customers for the buy. No SWAT or street crimes on this one? No time. The deal's about to go down, but they're getting prepped just in case. And in case a genius tries to take a swim, we got the boys from the river union on the water, out of sight on standby. There's only one way into the parking lot, so once Omar's pulled in, we've got to move fast before he realizes that we flipped the buyer. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's do it. Let's get it done. So we good? Yeah, we're good. Are you good? I'm good. OK, let's go catch a scumbag. Move on target. Move on target. <laughs> 
Rose, we got a runner. He's headed towards the golf course. We got him. I wasn't even aiming for him. Tell his mother that. Colt. Colt! I got him! River unit, you mind fishing my rookie out also? Yeah, I guess we can do that. He's right there. <laughs> it's all right. Easy. I believe you're looking for this one. Omar, looks like you went for a swim. Man, this psycho almost shot me for nothing. Stop whining. Let's go. Come on. I got nothing. You gotta be kidding me, man. Can we go back to the station so I can change? Hey, you're not getting my cop car soaking wet. See you back at HQ. What am I supposed to do? Walk, it's over a mile away. Is he serious? Well, there's a bright side, Rook. Maybe uh, he'll be dry by the time you get there. You know, it'd be better if you take the uniform off before you wash it, right? <laughs> Seriously, though, congratulations. For what? The river unit call. They said you passed your swimming test. <laughs> all right, all right. Rook, go get changed. We got reports to finish. Way to go, Rook. All right. Three more weeks. Three more weeks, Wiggy. What did I miss? What's he all with? Oh, I actually like that guy. One I just can't guarantee you'll get the number, though. Either one of them, man. I'm holding out. You lay the foundation, and uh, I'll finish it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a riot. Aren't we, though? Aren't we? Three weeks. Yeah, that's good, Rick. Stay right there. I like one, you. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yep. 224 is 10-8. 224, step back inside. You have someone here at the desk waiting. 10-4, headed back in. Deputy Miller, so glad to see you again. Pastor Roberts. Please, call me Michael. As long as you call me Colton. Dill, can't tell you how glad I am you reached out. I gotta be honest, I, I didn't expect to see you here. I, I thought that maybe we'd meet at your office. Actually, we're meeting at yours. I'm riding with you tonight. Oh. Yeah, your captain set it up. Plus, I've always wanted to ride in a cop car. <laughs> OK, um, that sounds great. I'll show you around. Great. Come on. Great. So these are just some of the offices down here. Got Oh, good Got one. It. Yeah, that's a good one. 20 bucks to get oh. in the head. <laughs> ah. well, go get them. Mm -hmm. uh, your turn. Remember, I got them last time. No? No, you didn't get them last time, you idiot. 
Don't call me an idiot, Larry. I got them last time. I'll call you whatever I good and well please. This is my house. Now get the dart, Daryl. The whole my house thing again, right? Got everything fighting. <laughs> really? <laughs> You'll hit me in the butt. I need another beer, man. Well, hold on, let me open up the washing machine. Three in a row, you get 20 bucks, man. I got it. This is the one for you, though, buddy. I'm gonna kill you for that. No, my beer! So how long you been a cop, Colt? Seven years. How long you been a pastor? Oh, about seven months. Really? Yeah, but I've been in the business 15 years. This is my first gig as the lead Two pastor, though. Horse, the brake line, please. Yeah, you liking Please it? Stand you know, I'm still trying to fill the pews, unfortunately, but Two yeah, four, I like please. it. How about you? You like your job? Appreciate the invite to Ohio. Used to. Not so sure nowadays. Not as exciting as it used to be? Oh, well, it's plenty exciting. That's the problem. Yeah, some days I think I might be better off mowing a lawn or painting a house. You know, anything that doesn't involve people bleeding or crying, both. That's understandable. Man, it can't be easy seeing the things you do day after day. No one calls 911 when they're having a good day, that's for sure. I guess your job and mine have a lot in common. We're both there for the worst of people's lives. So, what keeps you going? Several things, I guess. First, just the thought that God wouldn't have me here if he didn't think I could handle it. Secondly, I just can't stand the thought of somebody needing saving and me not being there when they do. But, I imagine that's also something else you and I have in common. Two eighteen, copy of disturbance one fifty Rosewood Street. You gonna respond to that? Two one eight, ten four. Are well, you mad or something? No, I'm not mad. No. Why are you so mopey? My underwear is still wet. <laughs> oh, you're all right. You're all right. <laughs> hey, Daryl. They hit me in the back with a freaking dart. I still got it, brother. I'm bleeding. No, I'm bleeding. Something wrong? About a dollar for every time I dealt with these three. I could retire early. Guess I've got to stay in here? Yeah, that's the rule. Hey, don't you say nothing. I ain't going back to jail. Great. Hey. Ow. Oh. Ah. Here we go again. Hey, let's let the rookie handle this one. Anything I should know? Here, got a new fish. Pick you up at the daycare? Sir, we received a call from this residence about a disturbance. No, ain't, ain't no disturbance here. Why don't uh, you just tell me what's going on and we'll get to the bottom of the... There ain't nothing going on. Me and my brother's just having a little fun, playing darts, wrestling around. Ain't no law against that, is they? Stay here. Sure thing, Lieutenant. The chaplain in the car? Oh, uh, yeah. You're not gonna get all religious on me, are you? It's just a ride along. Oh, is that what they call it? That is what they call it. Anything going on here, sir? Oh, no, going on. Well, I mean, there's no. Did anything happen here today? It's all good. All good in the hood. All right, let's go bail now. Yep. Larry. 
Why are we here? Because that fool woman called you, and she ain't going to quit calling you till she get me thrown in jail for something. OK. What are you doing to Daryl? You picking on him again? Denise, come out. Let's talk. He going to jail this time? What for, Denise? Him and his stupid brother was fighting. Brother said nothing happened. Well, that's a lie. Take him to jail. Denise, you are all drunk. I got to stay drunk to be married to that fool. OK, did anything physical happen? <laughs> Ain't nothing physical happen with that man, In never. In 15 years, right. Mm -hmm. May as well be in jail. Gave me no babies. OK. As I was like watching up at late night, he took that thing, whop pow, mm. right through a melon and a beer can. I had to buy that thing. I would too. Yeah. That's great. Hey, guys, guess what? Larry just bought a new ninja sword. It's awesome. Is that right? Anything? Yeah. No, nothing. Larry, Same. please don't make me come out here again. I'm telling you, it ain't me. It's that full woman. OK. Yep. Bye, Larry. Well, you boys be careful. A lot of crazies out there, so be sure and write now. Why? You can't read? That ain't funny. 224 headquarters, myself and 218 or 108. No report. 104, 108, no report. It's sad that people choose to live this way. There's definitely something missing in their lives. 1995. Intelligence. Actually, I was thinking more like love, hope, Jesus. Pretty sure Jesus would not be welcomed here, Pastor. Have you ever asked them? It's more your line of work. Actually, that's all our line of work, theologically speaking. Have you been saved, Colton? Years ago, I guess it took. Good. Then you understand, Jesus didn't just die for the good ones. He died for the bad ones, too. Even those we may not particularly care for. They may just be the ones who need them the most. Ready? Yeah. What about that one? That one looks like an old beater. Come on. You're going to go pull over some blue hair Betty Crocker type? Well, no. There. That's a good one. So what's the uh, PC for the stop? Uh, better hurry. If he's holding, he's going to pull over and park real quick. Uh, His mirror's busted. Come on, let's go. Let right. him up. Sorry. That was an accident. You do that again, I'm handcuffing you to the light bar. And he just pulled off. He, he pulled off. Well, how was I supposed to Stop. Know? I couldn't even see that. You're supposed to. 218, copy a suspicious person. 218, 10 How did you get to the academy? Really? Is that a family cult? Yeah, I got a wife, son. I'm 224, check with 218 and copy details. Here we go. Blessed are the peacemakers. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. 224, go ahead. 500 block of Walter Street. White male, acting erratic, possibly CDS. 224, copy. <laughs> 224, headquarters. I'm 1097. I'll be out with him. What are you going to do? I don't know. Make sure he's not a danger to himself or anyone else. I'll be in your brain. How are we doing tonight, sir? Uh, easy. Get away from me! Easy. Settle down. Is this your residence? You're the spawn of Satan! That's new. Leave me alone, demon! What is your name? What Satan is your is name? Coming. Jeff, Satan is coming! Satan is coming! It's going crazy. Yeah, listen. Leave me alone! Easy, easy. Do not move, okay? Listen to me, I'm here to help you. I promise. Breathe, what is your name? Simple. Get away from Simple. me! Easy. No! Down, Satan sir. Satan is coming! Satan is coming! Get out! I'm an angel! I'm an angel! I'm an angel! You do not tackle me! I have the fire! You're the devil! You're the devil! No! 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 Oh, you will take me! No! 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 No
no, 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 no. There's no demons in there, buddy. No demons. Just some spiders. Watch out for that. What was that about? It's called meth. Don't try it. Did you check the house? Yeah, see if anyone knows this guy. Demon! What do you got? Oh, surprise, more meth heads. All right, Cole, go ahead and knock. Sheriff's office, open up. Three, two, one. There they go. Sheriff's office. Cole, I got a girl not moving. No, she's unresponsive. Go, 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 go. All right, can we clear it? She's on responsive. Grab your CPR mask. It's in the car. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are we looking? Not good. She's trying to flip her over. Come on. There it is. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy. Easy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Well, hey. Welcome back, princess. She's alive. We got you. Okay. We saved her. Yeah, we did. Make sure medical's coming. Yeah. Stay with her. This happens every night? Just about. She gonna make it? Thanks to you, she'll live to see you another day. Thank you. You guys have a good night. Come on, I want to show you something. Methamphetamine. It's pure evil, destroys everything it touches. And people want more. God allows it to exist. Think Jesus is welcomed here? I know seven years of seeing things like this every day. I get why you called. But you can't let the darkness overtake you. You have to be the light. Pretty sure my light went out a while ago. You just saved a girl back there. I answered a call, same as anyone else would have. I don't know that I would have. It takes someone special to answer a call no, like that. I don't think so, because that same girl will be doing the exact same thing next week. Possibly. But I think God used you to give her a second chance. Why does she deserve that? My best friend, he didn't get a second chance. Got shot, killed. Guy that shot him got away. So, is that fair? If you look at it from an earthly perspective, no, it's not fair. This is a fallen world filled with sin and problems. We're all going to die one day. There's no getting around that. God's work is eternal. From that perspective, what's a few years of unpleasantness compared to a lifetime of joy? I wonder, how many people has God put in your path who don't know Jesus? How many people who don't know hope because no one's ever told them? You're the one they call when they need help. You're the one God's called to be his shepherd, to watch over his sheep. You'll never be able to stop all the bad things from happening. The Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. But you can be a light in the darkness. You are giving me way too much credit, Pastor. Really? Mm -hmm. When someone broke into my house, held a gun to my wife's head, who did God send? 
never forget, you have a choice. You can either let the darkness overtake you, or you can be a bearer of the light. I almost killed a man yesterday. He shot this little kid during a drive-by. I had him at gunpoint. I could have pulled the trigger. No questions asked. I just kept thinking that this guy killed this little boy over something as stupid as drugs. I wanted to make him pay for it. But you didn't. I wanted to. There's no sin in wanting justice, Colton. But consider this. What if that man died without knowing Christ? Your job is tough, man. You're put into situations that would make the rest of us run away screaming. But God's chosen you because he knows you can handle it. You've been called to be a light. Remember what the Bible says. The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers, they're few. God needs you to do his service. It's noble that you'd run in a burning building and rescue someone's life. But what good does it do if you rescue their life? Forget about their soul. What good is it if you rescue them from that fire and yet they're gonna spend eternity in flames? Can I pray with you? Lord, I pray that you'd be with Colton right now. God, help him to find the faith that he wants new. Lord, help him to realize that you've given him a calling. Lord, I pray that you would help him to follow that calling. Lord, I pray that you would help him to take a stand for you, to realize that you've got a greater purpose for him. Lord, I pray that you would help him to realize that we've got to reach people, people right where they're at. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, everything's great. One more rep. Come on, my grandmother can do this, and she's dead, Cole. Get it up. There it is. There it is. Grandma, rack it. I liked your grandma. <laughs> so did I. <sighs> you know, I got a couple more than you. Congratulations. How about next time when a bad guy crawls on top of you and lies real still, you just bench press him up. Shut up. That'd be easy, right? Hey, get on the bag. I'll try to do it. All right, show me. All right, let's see it. See, this is how you handle the bad guys. There it is. Hey, you ain't going soft, are you? I'm not going soft. What makes you say that? Well, I saw you the other night hanging the head with that pastor. Am I supposed to think? Yeah. I was just trying to get some things right in my head. That's all. Are they right? I'm getting there. For the first time in a while. Yeah. Oh, good. Hey, man, it's cool if you, like, found Jesus and all that. More power to you. I just want to know, um... I just want to know if I can count on you to get my back, is all. What are you talking about? Of course you can count on me. Come on. Okay. Well, Lauren and I did check out his church someday, though. One bad, actually. You should come with us next Forget week. Forget it. Just saying, it might be cool, you know, for all of us to go. Stop. 
God and I have an agreement. I stay out of his way, he stays out of mine. It works. There it is. Nice. You really leaving? Yeah, I promised Gabe I'd hang before shift. Oh, my gosh, family. Yeah. It's a bummer, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hey, promise me something. What's that? Promise me you'll come to church with us. Once, man. It's not going to kill you. Once. I'll do once for you. You'll do one? Yeah. He'll do one <laughs> for you. See you tonight. See you. Okay, I'm out of here. I don't want you to go to work, Dad. I know, buddy. I gotta help those that need it, okay? Mm. I'll be back. Why don't you just call in sick tonight? Oh, you think they believe me? Yeah. yeah. I think you can pull it off. I love you. I love you, too. Mm. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm out. That All way, right. yeah. placement's prayers. Oh, how could I forget? Of course. Okay. Lord, I ask for courage, courage to face and conquer my own fears, courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength, strength of body to protect others, strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication, dedication to my job to do it well, dedication to my community to keep it safe. Give me, Lord, concern for all those who trust me and compassion for those who need me. And please, Lord, through it all, be at my side. Amen. Hey, Larry, I'm a little bad. Oh. You stop using my bathroom. You stink it up. You are worthless. You're supposed to sell it, not use it. Hey! Go back in the house, Denise, before I kill you. I have had it with you. I am calling the cops. And this time, you are going to jail. I will be so glad to get rid of your worthless no good. It's the last time you call the law on me, woman. It's the last time! 911, where's your emergency? Hey, Hello? where's your emergency? Hello? Hello, anyone there? <laughs> I look over, Shep judo chops this guy, <laughs> right? He hits the pavement. I thought he was dead. I mean, I thought he killed him. I know, he resisted. Resisted? Yeah. What, do you sneeze? <laughs> no, it's the soft-handed technique, Sarge. It's not my fault the pavement was hard. Yeah, what about that big dent on the front of your hood? Same story? No, he tripped. <laughs> there she is. I was about to call search and rescue. Wow, you look like you're just about to float away. <laughs> All right, club with fries, a grilled chicken salad. Oh, the fat guy orders a salad. Hey, hey, endoscopy, colonoscopy, cholesterol, high glycerides, low glycerides. <laughs> Keep it up, big boy. Your day's coming. Well, where'd Cheeseburger go? He didn't get called out, did he? Uh, he's probably in the bathroom mirror practicing his dirty hairy pose. Does sound like him. <laughs> All right. Well, let me know if you boys need anything else. Thank you, dear. That's a mistake. Oh, boy. This is what happens. Yeah. This didn't go well last time. Oh. No, it didn't. Oh, Shep, you ain't right. You ain't right. I'm not. <laughs> Of course. Unit six, copy a suspicious person in Millhaven Estates. Where was that? That was zone four. They gave it to six. Two of six was in room. Sounds busy. I was hoping for a slow night. You just had to go and say the S word. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I know. Everything come out all right, sunshine? Do you remember to wash your hands, young man? Of course. <laughs> 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 Really? <laughs> Get wash it down. Wash it down. Oh. <laughs> Here, Rube, drink some water. Drink some water. Oh, the best. Down the hatch, good boy. 
That better. Two two four, copy an M one hang up. Never fails. Two two four, go ahead. Nine one one, hang up. One fifty Rosewood Street. No voice and no answer. On call back. Denise and Larry at it again. Two two four, two one, in and route. Ten four. Well, you can have my steak, Sarge. Just make sure you finish your salad first. That doesn't look good. I hope it doesn't rain. Really? R word. R word, S word. See you guys there. Baby, nice photo. <laughs> I thought you might like that. I just wanted to call and say I love you before we go to bed. I love you. I'm headed out on a call, but tomorrow I was thinking date night, you and me. Maybe we can catch a movie or something. Uh, if you are talking about something not animated for a change, you are definitely on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, I love you. You have a good night, okay? Okay, hey, hey, hold on. Uh, Gabe wants to say good night. Good night, Dad. I love you. I love you, buddy. Sleep well, okay? I will. All right, I'm gonna get him to bed. I'll see you soon. I love you, babe. Okay, I love you. I'll be home soon. Good night. Bye. <sighs> 224, headquarters. Any luck on getting hold of that caller? Negative 224, we're trying again. My steak dinner, somebody's taking a ride. You know, I think I'm finally starting to figure this guy out. Just an annoying, harmless drunk. Well, how drunk do you gotta be? She has a pulse. 224 headquarters, roll medical to our location. Possible aggravated battery, victim's unconscious. I'll stay with her. Keep your eyes peeled. Yep, you made it easy for us this time. So much for harmless. 206 will be heading that way also. Want me to go ahead and knock or? No, no. Shots fired! Shots fired! Jake, you got ice? I missed shots. 218 headquarters. Shots fired, no eyes on shooter. I repeat, no eyes on shooter. Can't swim the campers, Jeff. Jake's been hit. Jake, Jake, you all right? I don't have eyes. 224 headquarters. Officer down. Officer down. He's got to be in the camper. Jay, crawl to me. I can't breathe. I think I'm going to die. You're not going to die. Crawl to me now. I can't feel my leg. Ah! Golly! 224, headquarters, be advised. Armed suspect barricaded inside the camper. 10 is activating spot. Larry! Larry, stop shooting! I can't get around the camper. I have a shot. You have a shot? Don't have it. What are we going to do? Shut up! Larry, stop this and come out unarmed. I wasn't going back then. And I ain't going back now! You gonna shoot me. Gotta be killing him. Let's get him out, okay? Larry, Daryl in there? Yeah, I'm in here! Just shut up and sit back, Daryl. I'm in here! Daryl, come out. My brother's gonna take care of this. Larry, you don't have to die tonight. Come on. Well, I ain't going back to jail. Larry, this is not worth it. You've shot one cop, all right? Let's end this. Ain't the first cop I shot. 
That's right, you were there. Oh, is he talking about David? No, get out of the car for me. Hey, you seeing this? No, no, Colt, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing we got 45 minutes left on shift. My paperwork's done, my evidence is logged. And I see you really don't care. I We're, don't. You want to go after Let's that. get him. All right, well, you're getting the runner. No, I pulled something, man. I think it's like uh, my hand. It's your stop. You get the runner, rookie. We'll see. Excuse me, sir. Stop. Larry, I do not want to kill you. Come outside right now. Hold on, don't shoot him. Coming out. Coming out. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Hey, Larry, get on the ground now. I'm on the ground now. Crawl to me. Get on the ground. Move. Larry, come outside right now. Smart like Daryl here, come on out. Get it right now, get it. All right, you win. Here I come, boy. Drop the gun, Larry. Larry, drop the gun. Oh, you coming with me? Larry, don't do it. Don't, don't do it! Get down, get down, get down! Oh, God. He needs me to give him space, give him space. Cole, you right, man? This is my dad. This is my dad. Come on, No, it's fine, man. You got this. Now he's on the way, okay? Now he's on the way. Come on, we have an officer down! Over here! We're over here! No, Cole, stay with me. Come on, no, no, stay with me. Cole, you stay with me. Don't you leave. Come on. Come on, get over here, guys. Come on, Cole, stay with me. Stay with me, come on. Breathe, come on. Breathe, man. Just hold I'm the chaplain. Somebody call me about a deputy being shot. Good, buddy. Hang in there. Come on, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. Almost there. Cole. Cole, come on. Talk to Larry. What are we doing? Talk to come Larry. on. Get him in there. What about Larry? Get back. Come on. Get him in there. Come on, Cole. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. Come on. Colton Miller Lauren. was brought in. Lauren. Where's my dad? He's a. Uh... Is he okay? I mean, can we see him? Yeah, um, he'll be, yeah, he'll be fine. He's gonna be fine. Morning, Pastor. Any changes? Nah, nothing yet. You wouldn't know he would wake up. If this guy makes it and Colton doesn't, I might go in here and finish him off myself. May I speak with him? I'm sorry, Pastor. We're not letting anybody in right now. He's got a slew of charges. Please, it's important. Colton asked me to. Colton? Before he went into surgery. I don't know, Pastor. It was Colton's request. 
All right, but just for a few minutes. You ain't no doctor. No, I'm a pastor. Well, you're just wasting your time here then. Colton didn't seem to think so. Who's Colton? The deputy you shot, the one lying a few doors down. His name's Colton. I just knew him as boss. Is he gonna make it? At this point, only God knows that. How about the other one, the new guy? He's got a few cracked ribs, some bruises. He's gonna live. The doctor sent him home. Well, I wish the other one, Colton, hadn't jumped in the way like that. He was just supposed to shoot me. Why'd you want him to shoot you? Because I couldn't do it myself. I figured if I... Uh, what am I saying? I was... Uh, he was just supposed to shoot me so I could end this miserable life. But he didn't. Well, the new guy sure did. I guess Colton's just too scared. No, that's where you're wrong. In that moment, Colton was fearless. He did what he did because he cares about you. I don't think so. Nobody cares about me. When they were wheeling him into surgery, Colton said to make sure that hell didn't get you. He told me to tell you that Jesus loves you. Denise, too. Now, why would he say something like that? Colton's a man of faith. I honestly can't explain why he did what he did. I know it wasn't in his own power. At that moment, he was most certainly moved by Jesus. He could have shot you. And by God's standards, he would have been justified, at least in my interpretation. Well, he should have. I shot that deputy. Killed his friend. And in return, he saved your life. Why'd you want to die, Larry? I've been worthless my whole life, Pastor. Just a worthless dog. No one's worthless, Larry. Well, I am. I ain't nothing. The drug using, cop killing, alcoholic. I ain't nothing. Some people might say so. But Colton looked beyond that. So does Jesus. So do I. You've certainly made mistakes. There's no stain that the blood of Christ can't wash away. Right now, you can be made brand new. Pastor, I'm going to jail. The only new beginning for me is a life sentence. You're right. You've done some horrible things. You're gonna be held accountable. The apostle Paul was jailed. God used him to do some wonderful things while he was there. You're going to a place where there's hundreds of people that don't know the love of Jesus. God can use you while you're there if you'll let him. I'm no preacher. I'm no preacher. She can be made brand new. You can experience the love, the forgiveness, the compassion that Jesus wants you to know. The same love and forgiveness and compassion that Colton showed you and risked his own life for. Life's about second chances. And Colton showed you great mercy and compassion so that you could experience that second chance. Larry, don't you want to be made brand new? I do. Heavenly Father, God, I'm so thankful that you care about each and every one of us. Lord, that no matter what our past, you're willing to forgive us if we'll just ask. God, I pray right now for Mary.
I'm glad you're here. Hey. Yeah. See you. See you then. Yeah, I'll be in there. Good morning, brother. Good morning, Pastor. I'll make it. Hey, Pastor. Hey, Michael. Hey, Gabe. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Colton was such a special man. And a dad. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Praying for you guys. Thank you. See you there. Okay. I'm truly sorry about Colton. Colton was a great man. Yes, he was. Guess you didn't pray hard enough for him, huh? I'm sorry. I forgot. You were too busy praying over the dirt bag who killed him. I understand your frustrations. Do you? I lost two friends in one year to that same piece of trash you were so concerned about in that hospital room. They're always talking about Jesus this and God that, so. Who was he, Pastor? His radio must not have been on, because he sure didn't show up to save either one of them. He did save them. Just not in the way you wanted. God works in mysterious ways, huh? This may come as a shock to you, Pastor. I'm not here for you. I'm here to fulfill a promise that I made to one of those friends. Good morning. Thank you for coming to church today. I had a message prepared, but I can't get Colton off my mind. A few months ago, I came home to the worst situation a man could come home to. There were police cars in my driveway. A criminal had broken into my house and taken my wife hostage. An officer approached me, placed his hand on my shoulder, and said, trust us. Not an easy thing to do. Those officers managed to rescue my wife from harm. I marveled how these men could be so brave in the face of such danger. Later, I met that young officer who placed his hand on my shoulder. His name was Deputy Colton Miller. I learned that Colton had some demons, as we all do. His faith had been shaken. You see, his friend and fellow officer had been killed, shot in the line of duty. He wondered how a God could allow something like that to happen. Now we're gathered here again today, wondering the same thing. I was there when they willed him into surgery. Just before they took him back, he asked me to express his love for his family. He also asked me to express his love for his fellow man. He even asked me to tell the guy who shot him that Jesus loves him. When Jesus was asked what the greatest commandment was, he said to love the Lord God with all your heart. And the second was like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. Colton not only believed that, but his last step was prove that. I later met the man who shot Colton in the intensive care unit. I told him what Colton had asked me to share with him. I watched as this criminal, this murderer, asked the Lord to forgive him of his sins. Some of you may be bitter today, but I recall what Jesus said. I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. It's exactly what Colton did. And as I watched Colton's life, as he became a man of faith, a man that was filled with fearless faith as he trusted God and he proved that he was willing to do what others would not do. Jesus said, don't fear them that can kill the body but can't kill the soul, but rather fear him who can destroy both the soul and body in hell. There are several police officers here today. No doubt you've heard the verse, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
But I wonder how many of you have that kind of fearless faith. I wonder how many of you can go to that next call, that next briefing, that next bad situation, knowing that if things don't turn out well, Jesus has laid claim to your soul. If you don't, I urge you to. So would Colton. Lord God, I pray for your mercy and compassion upon us. Lord, help us to have the faith that Colton had. Help us to have that fearless faith. Please bring comfort. Our hearts are grieving, but we're trusting you. In Jesus' name, amen. Nice speech. It's not what I had planned. Sometimes God changes our plans. Did Colton really say all that? He did. He said it. He believed it. Colton didn't want anyone to perish, even his enemies, but especially his friends. Would you like me to pray with you? No a Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the life of Colton. Thank you for his fearless faith. I pray that you would help us to have that kind of faith.